Good morning, it's Nancy. And I'm sitting in a room that is very nearly done. There's just a few more tweaks that I need to do. Um, I've discovered some things that I haven't seen for a while. And I ran out of labels. So, a few more tweaks to do. But I thought, let's do a little... Oh. That needs some glue. Let's do a little crafting. That's washi tape. That's washi tape for you. Okay. I'm still working on reminiscences. I think this is the third chapter I'm working on right now. I finally got my sewing machine so <laughs> plugged in again yesterday. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get through this rather quickly. My big worry now is that I have um, found so much good stuff, it's going to be difficult to uh, not turn this into a great big alligator mouth like that kind of deal. Does your machine ever do that? Like the first stitch you take it, unless you're holding on to both strings, it's weird. Like this one totally wrapped around the page. There we go. Fixed it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> my, uh, Recording setup is a little different, um, so I have to make some adjustments to that. So right now, you're sort instead of a flat surface, um, it's kind of tilted up a bit, and I hope that that's okay for right now. Um, one of my Look, this one's wrapped around too. One of my challenges in this room is that I'm in the basement. So three of my walls are concrete. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix this. And of course, nobody but me would notice this. Okay. Oh, well, little messy stitching. So I don't have a lot of um, outlets to plug into. And I can't easily put up any kind of a shelf or anything to uh, support my camera thingy duper. Oh, good coffee. Mm. thinking of putting this flower here. Why 
Why not? Let's do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I found this pad of paper. I haven't had it very long. But what it says is um, the universal plotting sheet prepared and published by the Defense Mapping Agency Aerospace Center, St. Louis Air Force Station. But they're big sheets, and I thought, oh, well, this would be good for gluing and inking and that sort of thing. So I'm not going to put it in a, in a journal. I might have. So I don't have a ceiling. I just have exposed floorboards, rafters. Yeah, they're called rafters, right? I don't know. The cross beams. <laughs> All right. So throughout this process, I've also observed a few things. Um, namely, Nancy, don't buy any more lace. So, um, if you are a, a frequenter of my crafty crush, Catherine's YouTube channel, you'll know that she's decided this winter she's going on a A hiatus of any purchasing. And we discussed it at length as we do everything. <laughs> and decided when the first snowfall happens, that's it. The only thing purchasable is glue and ink and we have to use well this was her idea she has to use what she has I think I'm going to join her um, and I think having touched everything in this room I'm now comfortable with the idea that I have enough I have a tag. No. Maybe I'll just tuck a little piece of paper in there or something. What if I divided this by sewing this part down and then things would go in sideways a little easier? I'm going to do that. And you'll be happy to know that I didn't even measure it or draw a line or anything. I see it's a little crooked, 
that's okay. I I'm fine. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, so my camera hooky thing, I have nothing to hook it to. Um, I could, or, or I, well, I tried to hook it to one of the cross beams or something. That, I mean, I could record that way, but the camera would, I'd have to, you know, zoom in and I couldn't keep an eye on the camera or make sure it was actually still running because I wouldn't be able to see it. Um, so there's, what I ended up doing... <laughs> And when I do my tour, I will show you. When I, when I ended up doing is um, nailing a box, like a, a wooden box, to one of the beams. So that it, it's like the box is this way. And then I have the clamp here. And then, yeah. And I've got it all taped together with Gorilla Tape so it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> um, just grabbing a little book here. What's this? No, I don't want that one. So it's super attractive. does the job. Miss something. Oh, that's too big. Oh my goodness. I should have measured. Yes, this one's bigger, but I'm just going to take one page and fold it in half. A little below. Zero this morning. Louise... And I attended church and Sunday school and church to the Baptist tonight and heard the I don't know convict that was here. Uh, I don't know. Can't read your writing, sweetie.
I'll do a little something there. What shall I do? That's what I shall do. Wondered if I had a little picture here I could use, but it doesn't appear to be. Let's get you. <clears throat> yeah, are you covered on the back? Well, look at that. You're covered on the back. Let's do a little ink. Give it a real glow. So this weekend is uh, Thanksgiving. Monday's a holiday. Um, the kids are actually all coming tomorrow for dinner. Uh, Jordan and Jess have plans. I don't know about I don't know about Kaylin and Monica if they have plans or not. Um, but I have Brooklyn tomorrow, so I thought I'll cook dinner. Um, and they can come and pick Brooklyn up and then I'll have to tell them to bring her jammies and that way she can get changed, ready to go to bed when she gets home. All right. Um, let me see. Let's see what I got in here that I could use. Could work. I was hoping I had something fussy cut. I don't want to do any more flowers, that's for sure. Christmas. What's Christmas doing in here? Oh, that's cute. It's teaching his dog to read.
also cute. I haven't, uh, haven't really thought about what I want to do for dinner itself. Should I do traditional? Turkey and all the goop that goes with it. Mm. Okay, I am fussing around too much. It's time to put the put the Victorians away. Gosh, she's beautiful. She's not going back in the box. She's getting made into something. <laughs> Some of these are super cute. Ooh. We're going to do the couple. Take a while for me to get used to where everything is, but I've got it organized that behind me is paper and books. To my right is fabric, textiles, lace. Then it, on this wall I have paper and um, ephemera and everything's grouped in themes because I do love myself a themed journal. And then this wall is just um, tools, stamps, dyes, ink, that sort of thing. So everything's where it's going to be handy. I'm going to darken this edge a bit. Do I want something in the background? Is this one red point? I don't know what a red point is. Any ideas? Those are too big. I have such a challenge making little things. What if I just do um, like a little background stamp? That could work. Let's 
let's see what we got. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm right here. I'm just flipping through my... stuff. Not that one. I have two of these I haven't even opened yet. Shame on you, Nancy. For shame. one has been opened. Nope. <laughs> This one is also Vintage Library from Stamperia. That's funny. This one's paper. Paper and this one's card. I was gonna do black, but I think I'm gonna do brown. Hopefully this works for me. Yeah. Happy with that? Happy with that. Okay. Glue you peeps down. I'm going to do it. 
So what I did was I glued this piece of lace that is glued to a piece of acetate using um, mixed media glue. And then I ran it through my sewing machine. And it's hard to see because it's white, but I will muddle through. So I'm just hand stitching it. This is just one uh, ply of floss. And as I get to the top, I'm going to add this little shell button. So when I say I ran it through my sewing machine, I had no thread in, in the needle. So it just poked the holes for me. Yeah, I think I'll try this again, gluing the lace to the acetate and then putting it through um, uh, my uh, big shot and see if I can make some tags that way. I mean, I like this, but it, I think it could have been shaped better. Okay, this is just a two holy. using a very long needle too. You might be confused by that. Um, it's a beading needle and the reason I'm using that is because I wanted a very very thin needle. Um, straw needles are good too. Okay I think this one's going to be I like those for applique. Oh, I'm going to skip a row. So otherwise I was going through that. <laughs> I was going through that um, hole or button again. Okay. Oh, drop the whole thing. All right, let me explain what I'm doing. So I want the knot, a knot on top. So it's like I'm doing a French knot, but I'm not, because I'm not going back down. But I am holding the thread really tight. I wrapped it around five times. There you go.
Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, where's the rest of that signature? Oh, there it is. a good half hour anyway so I think I'll stop there for now and uh, before I pull out any more stuff and I might even take this out I don't know what I was thinking adding purple so I might take this page right out save it for something else we'll see all right thank you so much for joining me um I hope now that things have simmered down a bit I'll be able to enjoy some more crafting here and getting back in touch with with uh, all of you and um, get some creative juices flowing so thank you so much for joining me this morning take care I uh, hope you have a great rest of your Thursday mm -hmm.